Dear South Africans, I don't get you guys. We never enslaved you. We never left our homes, came to yours to colonize you. We did not cause the wounds that left those scars on your black bodies. We are not the source of the nightmares that wake you up at night drenched in sweat. Dear South Africans, we never oppressed you. We did not take Sarah Batman and turn her into a circus animal. We never suppressed you. We did not gun you down in Sharpville or Soweto. We are not the ones that murdered Steve Biko. We did not take Madiba and throw him in jail for 27 years. We never stole your lands. We did not desecrate your gods. Dear South Africans, instead, when you wept, we wept with you. When you marched, we marched with you. When you raised fists in defiance, in solidarity, we did the same for you. We took your cause into meetings to which you were not invited, at the table for you, shouted your name into the face of neocolonialism. Because you were our brother, we did not abandon you in that pit. Instead, each time we heard your voice coming out of the darkness, Singing in defiance, we sang that song with you. Unko si si keleli Africa, malu banga ni su bondo ayo, iswa imi tanga so yetu Tell me, do you know the words? of my national anthem, but I know the words of yours. Dear South Africans, I don't get you guys. Ah, maybe it is true that apathy broke something fundamental in your spirit. Maybe it is true that all those years of apathy completely emptied your hearts. Maybe it is true that you have forgotten. Maybe it is true that you no longer see the need to rise in reverence each time the names of our ancestors are called Patrice Lumumba, Julius Nyerere, Kwame Nkrumah, Ahmed Bembela, Amilka Cabral. Maybe it is true that apathy blew out the last candles in your Pan-African souls. For if you were not so, you would know that we are not the manufacturers of your present condition. We are not the owners of the factories in which your poverty was mass produced. We did not dig the mines from which your destinies were relentlessly extracted. We are struggling, just like you, to climb out of the graves that history dug for us, to break past the limitations that this, our present crop, of corrupt, short-sighted and incompetent leaders have set for us to defy the odds that this modern global economic order has stacked against us that we are struggling just like you to bring the dreams of our children within their reach to overcome the stigma of melanin, the stigma of being black, the stigma of coming from this continent that we are struggling just like you to realize the dreams of that prophet, Marcus Garvey, of an Africa where the roads are free from Cape Town to Cairo, from Dakar to Dar es Salaam, of an Africa where the Kwanzaa can shake hands in peace with the Naira, where it is not a crime to cross a border in search of refuge in a brother's hut, dreams of an Africa where the black man at last can be at home in dignity in prosperity and in power. The road is hard enough as it is today. Dear South Africans, please do not make it even harder, even longer for us all. 